One day, I was sitting for a portrait to be drawn by Homi Jahagir Baba. I told Baba, it is a picture of a scientist by a scientist. Baba denied, it is a picture of an artist by an artist. Yes, I believe a scientist is also an artist. He constantly draws pictures in his mind. Born in 1888 in Tiruchirappalli, in his very first experiments and investigations in Calcutta, C.B. Raman sought answers to some of those primary questions one asks in the presence of nature. On his way back from his first visit to Europe by sea in the autumn of 1921, Raman was fascinated by the deep blue of the Mediterranean. The color of the water he knew was simply the reflection of the sky. But the question remained, what was it that diffracted the light and made its passage visible? For the next two years, Raman studied the scattering of light like an obsession. He made a spectrograph and found that a transformation occurs when ordinary light has been scattered by matter. When light of one frequency is transmitted through a spectrum, other frequencies characteristic of the material are added. These frequencies are equal to the infrared frequencies of the material and are caused by the exchange of energy between light and material. This is now known as the Raman effect. Raman's first findings have been a great contribution to quantum mechanics and the development of physical chemistry. Unlike many scientists who tend to limit their scientific investigations to a closed area, Raman moved freely from one area to another, covering in his work in Bangalore the problems of the reflection of light within crystals and its scattering, the dynamics of atoms, And finally, the physics of music. Sounds and sights and nature constituted Raman's universe. I did some work on the color perception that comes out of natural reflection on birds and butterflies. This brought me close to nature once again. To me, science is a philosophy, and art as the scientists do with it. <laughs> 